Hey guys, it's Miss M. So today we're going to be talking about composite figures. So let's first take a look at what composite figures are. They are um, figures that are made up of triangles, squares, rectangles, semicircles, and other two-dimensional figures. So basically, a composite figure is when you put two or more shapes together. So here is an example. We have um, a square and a triangle put together. Over here, a rectangle and a semicircle put together. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at how to find perimeter and area of the composite figures. So for perimeter, remember that's around the whole outside of the shape, so only what's on the outside. And then area would be the inside. So for area, we would have to find the, um, the area of each composite figure. So let's take a look at some specific examples. Okay, so first let's identify what figures make up this composite figure. This composite figure is made up of a triangle and a semicircle. So let's first do um, perimeter. So we'll find the outside. All right, so we're doing perimeter first. So we want to do the triangle plus the semicircle, but only the spots that are exposed. So in the triangle, we're looking only at the exposed pieces. So we have eight and we have six. So this is eight plus six. And for semicircle, we're only looking at this outside piece. So we have to find the arc. So semicircles half and to find um, perimeter or distance around the circle that's like circumference so we're going to use pi which is 3.14 times we are given across the whole circle so that would be diameter so pi times diameter okay and then we can just put that in our calculators so go ahead and do that and we get 29.7 feet is the perimeter, okay? Now let's go back and we will do area this time. So we'll get rid of all of this, oops. And now we're looking at area. So we want area of the triangle plus the semicircle. So triangle area is one half base times height and semicircle, that's half a circle, so that's one half. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. So one half times the base, this is the base of our triangle and this is the height of our triangle. Plus one half pi, we'll use 3.14. And now we need radius. Remember we said 10 went across the whole circle, so that's diameter, so we want just half for radius, so five squared, okay? And go ahead and take a second to put that in your calculators. Okay, and the area, we get 63.25 feet squared. Okay, remember area, we want our units to be squared. Let's look at one more example. So this figure is made up of a square and four semicircles. All right, so we'll do perimeter first. Now we only want the outside, so around this is perimeter, okay? So in this case, the square doesn't even matter to us for our distance around the shape. So we have four semicircles. So semicircles, we find the distance around by um, half for semicircle, pi times we're diameter, and we are given diameter, two goes across the whole circle. And there's four of them, so I'll just multiply by four, make it easy. 
So 4 times 1 half times 3.14 times 2 is the diameter. Put that into your calculators. And we get the perimeter or distance around the shape is 12.56 inches. And now let's go back and do the area. Okay, area. So we have the square plus four semicircles. So square is length times width plus four semicircles. Um, for semicircles, we need half, and area of a circle is pi r squared. The length of the square is two. The width of the square is two. So two times two plus four times one half times 3.14. And we want radius, we said that two was the diameter, so half of two is one. One is the radius squared. Go ahead and put that into your calculator. And we get the area is 10.28 inches squared. And that is how to find perimeter and area of composite figures.